you know, I, th I really enjoy seeing art and I even enjoy seeing some art that's been motivated by science. Um, but I, I do think there, in some ways you can learn about the nature of creativity. Um, what, what are the opportunities that people have that, that make them excel? But there really are differences in the arts and science. And one of the differences is that you really can have a wrong answer in science. And that, that's very different. It, requ and it requires a certain kind of tr a different type of training, a different type of evaluating what you've done. I mean, in some sense, you can have a wrong answer in art, but there's always a more subjective element to it. Um, there's like a number that tells you you're wrong, and you know, which is just undeniable. There's no getting around it in science sometimes. So even if you have a good idea, it could be wrong. But um, it, but I think bro broadly speaking, I think one can learn about just how people enjoy culture and how. S and I think it would be nice to, that science was more a part of culture, that people re thought it as important to understand certain basic elements of science as they do to understand certain basic elements of literature or art. That should be as fundamental to our way of thinking. I think one thing that science can probably learn from art is just ways of getting people excited about ideas. I mean, I think there's a lot of artistic ideas that people really enjoy hearing about and think it's important to be part of their part of culture. And so, given that it offers new ways of thinking about things, it'd be nice for science to learn about that, so how to communicate them.